Hi everyone, congratulations on your acceptance to the USC chemistry program. Unfortunately, because of situations, we were unable to have you here today, but we thought this virtual tour would be helpful to make you feel at home while seeing the campus. My name is Adam and I'll be your tour guide today. So we just entered campus just north of here at North Gate, and we've been walking down Truesdale, and behind me is Founders Park, where USC has actually taken the liberty to plant 50 different trees to represent the 50 different states in America. However, at one point, due to winds or lightning or miscellaneous other things, the tree that represented Arizona was actually destroyed. Rest assured, if you're from the Grand Canyon State like I am, Arizona is still represented over by Lee Park by a petrified tree. And now we've made our way to the central part of campus. This is Alumni Park, and just behind me is the famous Bovard Auditorium, where things such as orientations happen and keynote speakers give famous or give talks. Some notable people who have given talks there are Michelle Obama, Kobe Bryant, Martin Luther King Jr., and former Secretary of State John Kerry. And in front of me is the Doheny Memorial Library, which was built in 1932 and has been a focal point of Trojan academics ever since. And now we've made our way to Han Plaza, which right now is quite dead, but however, come time when classes start, this is a hotspot for both tourists and students alike. Uh, to my left is Tommy the Trojan, our unofficial mascot, but a lot of people do not know the official mascot is actually, to my right, Traveler the Horse. Most of the chemistry buildings are actually in the southwest or west part of campus. However, before I take you there, let's head east to see some more interesting parts of campus. We're now on the eastern outskirts of campus, and this is the McCarthy Plaza that quite often showcases students having picnics, studying, relaxing. Once a week, there is also a farmer's market that allows you to buy locally grown produce. And this space is also frequently turned into a space for concerts and pep rallies. To my right, like we've seen before, is the Doheny Library. And in front of me is the USC Mail Stop and US Card Services with a outdoor workout space that allows you to get exercise in while the gyms are closed. And then to my left is the Levy Library, which we have not talked about. This is one of the other two main libraries, not including the several other libraries located around campus. All right, now let's return to Hop Plaza with Tommy the Trojan. And now we're back in Han Plaza. To my right is Tommy Trojan, and we're going to be moving forward to the Ronald Tudor Center to discuss places to eat. And now we're standing in the Ronald Tudor Center, which normally during the school year is a buzz with students looking for a bite to eat between classes. There's a various amounts of restaurants available here. There's such things as Coffee Beans, Habit, Verde, uh, Panda Express, California Pizza Kitchen, and if you don't like the fast food chain type restaurants, there's also Seeds and Lemonade, which are more kind of catered towards salads and fish meals. Just west of the Ronald Tuner Center, and right behind me is the Prusati University Bookstore, which sponsors a large portion of USC memorabilia and other sportswear. It also has large portions of school supplies, and in the basement, you're able to actually buy the books for your classwork. And to the right side of the building is the Sprinkles Cupcake ATM. And now we've come to the intersection of Child's Way and Watts Way. During the school year, this is also a major hotspot for traffic. Just behind me is the Wallace Annenberg Hall that, allows, that was developed in 2014 and is the place of study for students studying in communications, public relations, and journalism. To my left, left here is the Grace Ford Salvatore Hall, or also known as GFS, which was built in 1977, which is a place for students studying the arts and music. And just in front of me is the Cromwell Track, which is where our award-winning athletes and marching band practice. Under normal circumstances, regular students can also use the large space to do physical activities such as running or playing sports. This is only one of the many recreational and sports facilities available for USC students. Just behind me is the Loker Hydrocarbon Institute, also known as LHI. It's one of the many chemistry buildings on campus and it houses several of the organic chemistry labs of the department. It also houses the George Ola Library, named after the late Nobel laureate George Ola, who was a homegrown USC faculty here. In fact, you know what? I think someone wants to see you inside. Go take a look. 
My name is Surya Prakash. I'm the chairman of the chemistry department at the University of Southern California. USC is a wonderful place to come and pursue your uh, PhD degree. And USC chemistry department does cutting edge research in various areas such as materials chemistry, medicinal chemistry, sustainability, CO2 abatement, you know, theory, uh, development of theory, lots of areas we are very active. And our department has about 30 tenure track faculty with 190 graduate students. And all our graduate students are supported by research fellowships, teaching assistantship, research assistantships. And you coming to USC is like coming to your family, we'll take care of you. And uh, our, our students have done exceptionally well. After getting their PhDs, they're in, uh, shining in academics, industry. They're all over the world. You know, we're almost like a mini United Nation with people from all walks of life are studying at USC. So it's a wonderful, hospitable environment. Please come and pursue your degree. Please apply and we will take care of you. Thank you. And now we're back outside of LHI after those words from our department chair, Surya Prakash. Around LHI are two other chemistry buildings, LJS and SSC. LJS is home to several inorganic faculty as well as the NMR facility. SSC houses many of the physical chemistry labs on campus. And now we moved across the street from LHI to the engineering quad, which houses a lot of the engineering labs on campus. And behind me, as you can see, is a large open space to catch up with friends, read a book, observe nature, and even tailgate. Before we make our way to SGM, which is a central part of the chemistry department here at USC, I wanted to highlight one important aspect of the engineering quad. As you can see here, this lunch table is equipped with solar panels, so if you're catching up with a friend or studying, you can utilize sustainable energy. And behind me is the Sealy G Mud Building, also known as SGM. It houses the chemistry teaching laboratories and the chemistry lecture halls. It is also home to a large portion of the chemistry faculty here at USC, also the administrative side of the chemistry department. So throughout your time here, you'll become very acquainted with the SGM building. In fact, also next to SGM is the Michelson Center for Convergent Biosciences. It was developed in 2017 to bring together interdisciplinary subjects such as molecular biology, biochemistry, and certain aspects of engineering. Because it's one of the newer buildings on campus, it's arguably one of the most beautiful as well. We have a few more things to show you, but on the way, please enjoy this montage of the beautiful fountains around campus. And now we've arrived at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Courtyard, which is the heart and soul of the USC Cinematic Film School. Uh, this was famously made when George Lucas and Steven Spielberg made a bet and Steven Spielberg, Spielberg lost. George Lucas is a famous alumni, so as a result of losing that bet, Steven Spielberg had to donate quite a large sum of money to USC to have this courtyard built. Now we've made our way to the USC Village, which was constructed in August 2017. It showcases a lot of amenities that are available for you to use, such as many restaurants, places to eat, places to work out. And the USC Village also has a Target, a Trader Joe's, and the undergraduate student housing. As we're gonna move forward to the back, we'll go to the sports area of the USC Village where we will conclude our tour. And now we've made it to our final location, the back half of the USC Village. And as you can see, they've made a beautiful lawn and field that allows for students to do physical activity and enjoy a nice day like today. This is the end of the virtual tour, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself and enjoyed the campus, and we hope to see you in the fall. Fight on.